Good evening. Good evening. Hello, Alba. Hi. How are you? Good evening. Good evening, Good evening. Jasmine. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Marco. Hello. Mm -hmm. Hello, Domingo. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Are you ready for the class? Yes. Nice. Mr. Good Cardona. Good Hello. How are you? I'm good. <laughs> okay, guys. Um, oh, Mr. Rodas. Yes, Mr. Rodas, it's, it's, yeah. a, it's already 8 p.m. Okay, so I'm going to begin by asking the attendance, okay? So, Alba Vides. Present. Alfredo Rodas. Present. Anil Cañengas. Presente. Oh, just on time. Mr. Rodriguez, Carlos. Cristina Romero. Domingo González. Present. Fátima Portillo. José Matías Lemus. Marco David Velázquez. Present. Marlon Cardona. Present. Mauricio Majano. Camisita. Maideli Judith. <laughs> My Nancy Lisa. <laughs> and Rocío Maritza. Let's see, Salvador Escobar. Sandra Velázquez. Present teacher. Víctor Salazar. Present. Walter González. William Pérez. Present. And Jasmine Melanie Lem. Present teacher. Okay, thank you so much. Let me share the screen with you. Okay, guys, can you see the screen? Yes, teacher. Yes, Very teacher. Good. Yes. Thank you. So this is our video conference number 13. And today we're going to study simple past yes, no questions. So it's a very important class because you're going to learn about how to ask questions. And we have the class objective. I would like, let's see, Melanie, can you please read the, the class objective? Okay, permitan. Ahorita. Uh, no sé si me escucha bien ahorita. Es que no me he puesto los audífonos. We can hear you, yes. Okay. Class objective. Participant will be able to write three yes, no question using the simple pass correctly, individually in order to extend to their classmate. Exactly. Yes. So that's why you what we expect from you at the end of the class that you can write three at least three questions correctly in the simple first. 
Activities. Nancy, would you like to read the agenda, please? Yes, teacher. Can you please uh, read the agenda? Okay. Grammar's pronunciation of a D ending. <laughs> Activity one, reporting problems. Activity two, uh, D two. Activity three, role play. Activity four, practice. And finally, wrap up. Okay, thank you so much. So in the warm-up class, I included this because I consider it's very important. The pronunciation of ED endings for regular verbs. In simple past, and then um, we are going to read about uh, reporting problems about a product or service. Then questions using did you, which is the auxiliary that we that we use to make questions in pass. Then your turn to create a conversation in the role play. And if we have time, a listening practice. So I would like a volunteer to tell me. How do you pronounce this? Verbs in past. Does somebody know? Moved. 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 Uh -huh. The Moved. second one. Moved. Uh -huh. The second one. Like. Liked. Like. Liked. Liked. And the last one. Studied. Studied or started. Okay, guys. So um, there are three forms in which the ED endings of the verbs are pronounced. The three forms are this one. ED, T, -t and D. For example, for verbs that end in t and in, when you add ed, the pronunciation is like id. For example, wanted, needed, decided, um, started, visited, etc. Now, with some verbs that end in P, K, sh, or ch, or th, or th, or x sound, the pronunciation is like t, t, t. For example, helped, looked, Help. washed, looked. watched, Wash. laughed, watched. breathed, Loud. breathed, kissed. Breathe. Danced and fixed. Fixed. Now with the other verbs like that end in L, N, R, G, V, S, W, Y, and Z sounds, <clears throat> the pronunciation of the ED is like D. For example, cold. Cleaned, offered, damaged, loved, used, followed, enjoyed, and amazed. Okay? But another way in which you can, we can make the difference in this pronunciation is that the ones that, which, which the pronunciation is like t, they are voiceless verbs. It means that when you put your fingers on your throat, you don't feel vibration. Tell, look, wash, watch. You don't feel vibration. But it's different with the other verbs, <clears throat> these ones. 
when you pronounce them and you put your fingers on your throat, you can feel a vibration. For example, cold, cleaned, offered, damaged, load, used, followed, enjoyed, amazed. So you feel a vibration when you pronounce these words and they, they are called voiced. So can you give me more examples of verbs that, uh, which pronunciation is like d, d. For example, we have moved. What other verbs can we have here? Do you remember? Mud. Then? I cannot hear you very well. What? I'm gonna give you more. E -D. Okay. I do. Uh -huh. Okay, I think these ones are easier. For example, all verbs that end in P and K and S H C H T H V and S S, the pronunciation is like T. So this pronunciation is like T. For example, liked, uh, looked, cute. Okay. Then, then, looked. Okay, dance. Ajá, very good. Ay, no quiero que me salgan en rojo. Danced. Kissed. Paint. Okay, liked, looked, danced, helped. Ajá. Paint. Turf. Turf. Trouble. No. Traveled. Traveled. That is here. Porque termina en L, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Traveled. Cold. 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 Light. Uh -huh. So, um, okay, so we have these examples and with the, and these ones that end, the, which pronunciation is like Eid, these are the verbs that they finish in B or in T. For example, visit. Termina en T, ¿verdad? Y le agregamos LD. Y entonces ya dice la pronunciación. Visited. Ajá. Vaya, ahora por ejemplo, decide, aunque termina en E, pero el sonido final es con D. Decide. So cuando le agregamos la E, ¿cómo dice ahora? Decide. Decided, decided. Decided. Uh -huh. Ahora, need. Le agrego de needed. Needed. Ajá. Need want. Le, want. Terminé en T. Le agrego de y ahora dice. Wanted. Wanted. Ajá. 
Bien, ahora en estos, por ejemplo, aquí los, los que terminan en B, como improve, improve. Cuando le agregó ED, o solo la D en este caso, improved, traveled, cold. Miren la tablita. La tablita dice que los que terminan en L, en N, en R, en G, en B, en S, W, Y, en Z, y todas las que terminan en vocal, y se le agrega ED, su pronunciación va a ser como D. D. ¿Ok? Vale, entonces aquí tenemos, por ejemplo, moved, improved, traveled, called, oh, otro podría ser planned. ¿Qué otro podríamos poner aquí? Ordered. Uh -huh. Entonces tenemos moved, improved, traveled, called, planned, ordered. And you can feel the vibration when you pronounce it. Can you make that exercise? Moved. I want to see you. Can you put your fingers on your on your throat over here? And you can feel when you pronounce these verbs, you can feel the vibration, okay? Moved, improved, traveled, called. Planned, ordered. You feel vibration. Now with the letter T. Vaya, los que tienen pronunciación como T. Como T. Son los que terminan en K. En C. En P. En S. S. Como keys. En CH. Como watched. En SH. Como wash. Vale, bueno, por ejemplo, tenemos este, ¿ve? Liked, looked, liked, danced, helped, kissed, watched, washed, stopped, stopped. Uh -huh. Y las que terminan en ir. Started, visited, decided, needed, and wanted. Esas son las tres formas, los ED pronunciation. ED endings pronunciation. Ahora me gustaría que ustedes lo dijeran solitos. Vamos a ver. ¿Sí? Por favor, okay. let's pronounce. One, two, three. Moved. Smooth. Moved. Moved. Es con D al final. D, d, like that. Moved. Moved. Improved. Moved. Improved. Traveled. 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 Cold. Cold. Planned. Planned. Ordered. Ordered. Okay. Liked. Like. Liked. Looked. 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 Danced. 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 Helped. Helped. Kissed. 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 Watched. 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 Stopped. Stop. 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 Okay. Now we we'll eat. Started. 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 Visited. Visited. Decided. 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 Needed. Needed. And wanted. Wanted. Okay, very nice. Now, guys, um, do you have any questions about this? No, yes. 
Questions, guys? Los que terminan en T y al final dice doble vocal, vocales. Las que terminan en. Las, no, las que terminan en el segundo dice pronunciación T. Uh -huh. Al final dice. Abajito del cuadro. Ahí hay. Oisles. Oisles. Es lo que les explicaba, que cuando ustedes las pronuncian, no sienten una vibración en las cuerdas vocales. En cambio, con las que la pronunciación es como D, D, cuando usted pronuncia estos verbos, usted siente una vibración en, en las cuerdas vocales. Por ejemplo, si usted pone cold, cold, usted siente una vibración clean, offer. Use, son como Damas. así un poquito más larga, ¿verdad? Y es así, mm. se siente una vibración. Follow. Diferente con las que están a la par, ¿verdad? Con las de pronunciación. Mm. Help, usted no siente aquí. Help, no siente nada. Eh, watch, no siente. Peace, no siente vibración. ¿Eh? Por eso se le llaman voiceless o mudas. En cambio, las otras sí, sí se siente. Okay, now guys, let's learn about reporting problems. Mrs. Mendoza and Mr. and Mr. Torres have problems. They describe their experiences with two different companies. So I would like a, a, a girl, a, um, a girl from the class to read. I'm sorry, what Mrs. what Mrs. Mendoza says and a boy to tell me what Mr. Torres say. Okay, so do we have a volunteer? A woman? Me? Just me. me. Okay, and Mr. Torres? Me, teacher. Okay, and Mr. Torres, Mr. Cañenques. Go ahead. Mrs. Mendoza. Okay. I have a problem with the payroll system, but a technician can to help me with it. He solved it, but he didn't, did not say anything. He even charged me for a pie he broke. For he a gave. piece he broke. Uh -huh. For for a piece a piece a piece a piece. For a piece he broke. He gave he gave me a copy on the report, but I didn't, didn't I not understand it the beside all 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 oh. that besides all that besides besides all that I forgot to mention that they can come very late. He came very late. Okay. Mr. Torres I had a problem with the car's engine. So I called for assistance. The mechanic was really kind. He was there really fast and he was quick to fix my car problems too. He gave me detail, details about the incident and he gave me a report, a report of, part of it. Then I started oh. I started the engine and everything was perfect. Thank you, Mr. Canyon. Yes, I could see that you made an effort to pronounce the verse in past as it is the correct way. So thank you for that. Okay, so what is the problem or oh, how was the experience of Mrs. Mendoza? How was Mrs. Mendoza's experience? Was it positive or negative? Negative. She, yeah, she had a negative experience. What happened to her? Mm. 
Yes, Mr. Rodas. Uh, Mr. Mendoza. The technician solved the, the problem, but he didn't say nothing and he broke the the place of repair. Okay. And he and gave a report, but she don't understand. Didn't understand. Mm -hmm. So the technician wasn't really kind, right? He was yeah, only solved the problem, but he didn't have like inter, uh, interpersonal abilities, right? Different from the mechanic, the car's mechanic. How, how was he? And how did he solve a Mr. Torres problem? The mechanic was really, really kind. And he also repaired the car very fast. Yeah, and he was not, I mean, he was very punctual, different from the other person who came late, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. So he could solve the problem too. He also explained what the incident was. He gave a report, he explained mm -hmm. to Mr. Thor. Okay, very good. Now, guys, we have a question here. Some questions. Did Mrs. Mendoza had a problem with a method of payment? Did Mrs. Mendoza had a problem with a method of payment? No, I didn't. No. No, uh, no. No, she didn't? Or no, yes, she, she did? Yes, she did. It says, I had a problem with the uh, payroll, payroll system. system. Mm -hmm. payroll system. Mm -hmm. Okay, number two. Did Mr. Torres call his best friend for help? No, I... No, no he... No, he didn't. No. No. He didn't. Who did he call? Yes, I call mechanic. He called a car mechanic. A mechanic, exactly. Car mechanic. Guys, I can hear some people's noise. Okay, thank you. Now, guys, uh, so let's see. What is the structure of yes, no questions? So as you can see here, to make yes, no questions in the simple past, we use the auxiliary. Which auxiliary? Did. Did, exactly. Then we have the subject and we have the verb in the base form. Example, did you call a mechanic to check your car? Did you? Call, notice the verb is not in the past tense. The verb is in the base form. Why? Ben. Because we have the auxiliary did. And the auxiliary did tells you that you are talking in the past. You are asking about a past event. And the short answers. Did you call a mechanic to check your car? Yes, I did. Or in the negative form, no, I didn't. Did she pay extra money? Yes, she did. No, she didn't. Did we receive a report? Yes, we did. No, we didn't. Did they sign the letter? Yes, they did. No, they didn't. You see, it's not that difficult. 
And here I have, um, I have put this. To make a yes no question in the simple past, use did plus the subject plus the base form of the verb in other words or the complement. Example, did she finish college? Did her parents help her? So we have the auxiliary dig at the beginning and the base form of the verb. Okay, did, then the subject, and the subject can be I, you, he, she, he, we, you, they is the same. And, and then you have the verb, the verb in the base form. And finally, you have the complement. Easy, right? Not difficult. So what are you going to do now? Okay, let's make this exercise from the present to the past. Vamos a hacer un contraste, okay? Por ejemplo, si aquí dice, my sister works in a call center, which is the present, what would the past be? Did my your sister, sister work did in a call center? My sister, my sister did works. Working in a color center. Okay, my sister. How do you English? Work. 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 My sister worked in a call center. Negative form. My sister. My sister. Just didn't. Didn't. My sister didn't work. Didn't, didn't work or didn't work? Work. Didn't work. Didn't work. Excellent. In a call center. Okay. Okay. And the last one, the question. Instead of does your did, sister work in a call center? Did your sister work in a call center? Very good. Did your sister work base form in a call center or in a call center? Yes, she did. Easy, right? Como ve, solo vamos a pasarlo al pasado, ¿verdad? Vamos a usar aquí el verbo en pasado, el auxiliar negativo en pasado, y luego pues el auxiliar negativo di, perdón, el auxiliar del pasado di en la pregunta, y lo demás sigue igual. Muy bien. Now, guys, I have here this exercise that you have to do it. You have to create yes, no questions based on the answers provided. Aquí están las respuestas. Miren, ¿qué van a hacer ustedes? According to the answers, you are going to create the question. Depende de la respuesta, usted va a pensar, oh, ¿cuál sería la pregunta? En eso vamos a trabajar ahorita, ¿ok? You can, you can write them in your... In your Handbook, in your book, or in the, your, your paper printed, uh, or in the chat also.
Okay, let me read the sentences, the questions. Did you send the email? Yes, I did. I sent the email. Very good. Did they check the package? No, they didn't. They didn't check the package. Excellent. Did they check the package? Okay. Did you, William, did you send? I also sent and pasado. Send, con de al final. Did they check the package? Did the car turn on again? Excellent, Fatima. Yes, it did. The car turned on again. Mm -hmm. Did the car turn on again? Okay, number four. Okay, we never received a copy of the receipt. Seria, did we receive a copy of the receipt? Or did we receive a receipt? <laughs> no, we didn't. We never received a copy of the receipt. Me encanta que han agarrado la estructura súper rápido. Excelente. Did he buy a new tire? Did he buy a new tire? Yes, he did. He bought a new tire. Excellent, guys. Congratulations. I'm so proud of you. ¿Verdad que no está difícil? Easy peasy. Okay, excellent, guys. Now, it's time for the role play. What are you going to do in the role play? You are going to create a conversation asking a customer about the last service that he or she got with the company. Ask just no questions to know if everything was provided. So you're gonna call your client or your customer and you are going to ask about the last service or the last product that he or she got. And you have to create yes, no questions. Please create at least three yes, no questions using this. Three yes, no questions using this. Les voy a, a mandar a las salitas, a the break rooms y en parejas van a crear esta conversación y tienen que por lo menos hacer tres preguntas, yes or no, in the past, eh, hablando sobre este, sobre cómo estuvo el servicio, ¿verdad? Ok. Luego, pues, creo que vamos a tener suficiente tiempo para que todos presenten su conversación. Hoy sí. Hoy no se sabe. Entonces ya los voy a mandar a las salitas, pero díganme algo, sonrían a la cámara por lo menos. Lo veo bien serio ahora. ¿Qué pasa? ¿Qué pasa? It's Monday. It's Monday, teacher. It's Monday. <risa> I'm sorry, Nancy. Oh, okay, we have 19 students, but we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven oyentes. Vamos a ver cómo nos salen ahora las alitas. Vamos a ver.
Me regresó, teacher. Me sacó. Sí, es que la, la, man, la quiero mandar a la sala 1. Ya le va a llegar okay. la invitación. Vale, está bien. Si no le llega, me avisa. Uh -huh. Gracias. Ahorita estoy viendo. Okay. Es que, es que um, en esta salita hay, hay dos oyentes. Ah, ok. No le llega, Fátima. Todavía no. No. 